This video is for educational documentary purposes only. It is meant to provide an authoritative news reporting narrative of historic events that have occurred presented in a journalistic context. Envy, money, betrayal, all things that when mixed together will never have a great outcome. Being conniving in the streets will bring either good or bad, no in between. In today's video, we will take a look into the most captivating story in Dallas Drill. The most hated guy in Dallas. TG, the biggest slime, Dallas. Tavarius Robinson, or TG, was born March 29, 2003 in Denver, Colorado. A city that has very similar gang culture as Los Angeles, a fact that will come into the question later in the story. The Denver gang culture is almost one of one with LA's blood and crip politics, so identical that the city has adopted their accent and style of lingo as well. Growing up in Denver, TG would be said to be a curious child, always wondering this, wanting to do this, be involved in that. He wanted to be the life of the party, the one you always knew or heard about. In 2011, at the age of eight, TG would move to Dallas, Texas, specifically the rough and grimy streets of Highland Hills. Here, TG would begin to witness the reality of poverty, ingraining a deep determination to make something of himself no matter what it took. During this time, him and his family would go back and forth to Denver. Come 2016, they come back to Dallas. While visiting a relative in Mesquite, his mom's niece would introduce him to Commandra Tucker, AKA Snoop. The two would click instantly. With the two becoming so inseparable, TG would run away from home to hang with Snoop for an entire month. Now, Snoop along with his brother Mark would move to Oak Cliff, the Ewing Villa's townhomes, only three minutes from the Dallas Zoo. This would also be the location where the infamous Jug Team X Global Gang was formed. With notable members such as Snoop, Mark, Bory, and Fat Daddy, Jug Team would begin rapping and becoming active in the streets. Being from Oak Cliff, the young set of teens would beef with other Oak Cliff gangs like the Highland Hills Gang OTG, or only the Glizzies, ATM, LA, a gang from the Grove and the Cliff, with their most known member being the now incarcerated rapper LA Bory. Drilla Gang, a mesquite-based gang that fallen OTG member Fazo Glizzy used to be a part of, under the name Stretch M Drilla, as well as FMG or Fly Money Gang, a collection of different hoods as one which once included the biggest crash out, EBK Syrac, for a short period of time. Throughout 2017-2018, Jug Team and their biggest ops OTG and ATM would be at war in the streets of Dallas. From shootouts to diss songs, the beef was definitely raging. TG himself would also be very passionate for music around this time, dropping a few notable songs such as his melodic vocal style track Gang Shit, Featuring Snoopy. I be on a whole lot of games. I be on a whole lot of games. In his infamous Gummo remix. However, behind the scenes, all of the work being put in wasn't being appreciated by all of the Jug Team members. Mark, being the blood brother of Snoopa, is actually said to not really be that fond of TG, with some speculating he was actually jealous of the close bond TG and Snoop shared mainly being because Mark and Snoop were actually related through blood and TG was just a dude from Denver that Snoop met and started to hang around. Despite TG, 14 at the time, being a very active member in the group, other Jug Team members would share the same attitude as Mark, showing less and less respect towards TG, since to them he wasn't a true member because he was from out of town and they didn't know him for that long. Jug Team would suffer a saddening loss when one of their very beloved members, Corey Carson, or Fat Daddy, would pass away at the age of 17 in a car wreck. This wouldn't be the first crippling loss the group would suffer. While being a true savage in the streets will bring you respect and a name, it also brings the unexpected, which is exactly what happened on August 16, 2018, when Commandra Tucker, better known as Snoopa, was shot and unalived during a home invasion. This death would prove to be what most people say was the downfall of the group. Making it even worse, TG was locked up during this time, being told the news by his mom over the jail phone. 
after Snoopy passed. This is when T is said to have lost motivation for music and would begin to distance himself from Jug Team members. Since Snoopy was now gone, the other Jug Team members didn't have a reason to have Tej around. This would be solidified after Tej wanted to do music with a member of Drilla Gang. Members like Mark and Luke wouldn't like this, Tej didn't care, and still did the music so Jug Team would cut ties with Tej altogether. The death of Snoop was detrimental for Tej. Setting the beginning of the TG that Dallas would become all too familiar with. Sliming. Backdooring. To go behind someone's back to rob or even unalive them for monetary gain or just moving fishy. Something that should be noted in the mind of TG. To him, none of these people were his people. After losing Snoop, TG would begin to lose morals and loyalty for anyone. Coming from Denver, where the gang culture is synonymous with LA, TG looked at all of these other groups as just cliques. He didn't care about the street aspect of the group. As far as he was concerned, he was only loyal to himself. Becoming so disloyal, getting back door tattooed on his face. TG had developed a mentality where only the people around him could better his life. He would target any clique in the city that had a name. Any group that was popping, turnt or lit around the city, he wanted to surround himself with them, get close to them and when the time was right. He would take them down, robbing them for any money, drugs or guns that they were carrying or moving. Being locked up from 2018, 2022, TG would miss a lot, choosing to go back to his home of Denver, Colorado. This is where he would join the Peru set, Park Hill Peru Bloods. Rapping with members under the stage name, Bougie Roo. This is the same group that he would catch a case with in 2022, allegedly using stolen information to purchase luxury vehicles, never paying for them. Joining the Pirus would change the way TG viewed gangs on another level. Since LA gangs you had to be formally jumped in unlike Dallas gangs where you could just join if you said you were down for it. He didn't take Dallas groups seriously, only looking at them as weenies that he could infiltrate and take over whatever they were involved in. Once TG came back to Dallas, he had his eyes set A, his target. FBG, the crip set from Four Deuce in South Dallas. Gunna was hanging around them a lot, being seen at functions with them as well as picks together. He even attended the funeral of fallen FBG member Fats who he would start dissing shortly after he parted ways with the group. Something that has to be stated as well is the fact that unsurprisingly, Strizzy, a top member of FBG was already on his trails. Seeing the plot early on but being held off by other FBG members who didn't want to go with the move, taking a great liking into T's. See, TG wasn't shy about his character of being a grimy person. He actually took pride in being someone who didn't show loyalty to anyone. He was always looking for an opportunity, a chance. This is supported by one of his most famous situations. TG is known to have known a lot of people. He was seen and known to be with almost every clique in Dallas. He could even be seen with top stretch gang member number seven. This relationship was said to be very close. This would explain why TG would slime popular Arlington rapper OG Main, or now Measy Main, who made a song with number seven's op BFG strap in early 2021. In 2022, shortly after shooting the music video to his song Crash Out, TG would pull a bold move, robbing Measy Maney for all of the guns he had in the video only two days later even going on Instagram live bragging about it, where he can be seen with the same Mac-10 styled gun seen by Meezy Main on his profile, dissing FBG and Sniper Gang. Free the ops so we can smoke them. Yeah, what that so <laughs> I backed on my mama, nigga. Oh, God, nigga, King what you Snake, talking about? Nigga, King Snake. Snake. Back no gang, I'm King Snake. Cross your ass, still a back of cake. TG clearly was determined to take anyone down. If you had what he wanted, he was on you. He wanted to be known as the biggest snake. The top slime. In 2023, TG would start doing business in the East. Him and another rapper, Cato Rivers, better known as FBG Murda, would be making a name in the city. 
coming up overnight from fake check scams, seemingly being turned and flashing big stacks of money on social media. TG would diss one of their members, Man Man, for allegedly snitching on the news when he was a kid after being grazed by a bullet in a now deleted Instagram freestyle. He would also diss their fallen member Hank, who was unalived in 2021. TG would take notice to Kato's come up, deciding OTS would be his next target. He would stop dissing Hank, thinking that OTS members wouldn't rep for him. However, he wasn't aware of the plot that would unfold at hand. OTS, being aware of Gunna's grimy past and his reputation for being a snake, would be all too prepared to accept TG as one of their own. Devising a plan to take TG down before he could get them. July 4th comes around, TG and OTS members, Mula, Kato, and Man Man all drop matching photos for the 4th of July with Kato and Yakuza allegedly wearing the same thing as TG just with different colored shorts on. TG would post his last picture, him sitting at his mom's kitchen with a disrespectful caption dissing fallen OTG member Jizzle and ATM member 10K Lil Winford, a fact that is crazy considering TG grew up with some OTG members including the infamous ball out Glizzy. Despite who he dissed, TG wouldn't return home that night, last being seen with his apparent OTS gang members. Unfortunately, TG wouldn't be found until July 6th in an alley in East Dallas. News of his passing would surprise the city, with multiple sides laughing and mocking his passing. But what happened to him? As stated before, TG and OTS didn't have the best record. TG had already dissed a beloved member, as well as mocked another respected member for allegedly snitching, something that is never acceptable in the streets. So for OTS, they had to get him gone. They knew it wouldn't be easy, so they had to be strategic. A week earlier, Yakuza would attempt to take him out, but the plan didn't go so well, so they had to call it off. They would, however, trade guns, giving him a tech. This tech, however, would knowingly not shoot. It was guaranteed to jam. This is the same tech that you see on the counter in his last photo. On the 4th of July, they had the plan set to match outfits with him to lure him in. They would all post that day. At the end of the day, they would go to a hood in East Dallas. There, Mula, Man Man, and Yakuza would have TG in an alley, where Yakuza is said to have unloaded a full clip into his face, leaving TG for dead, not to be found until a whole two days later. After the fourth, OTS had already deleted the photos they took of them all matching with TG to cover their tracks. Yakuza would go the furthest to cover his trail, going as far to create an entire fake memorial highlight on his Instagram, pretending to be sad and remorseful for the death of TG just to keep the heat off of him. However, if you look into any of the members, none of them acknowledge TG at all. People would call out OTS blatantly for backdooring TG, his death is often mocked by his many enemies, poking fun at the fact that he was missing, asking where he is. This was most associated with the song Where TF Is TG by PCE rapper Rundown 4. Eerily, TG unknowingly would have his killers on his profile picture still till this day. That's going to wrap up today's video. What do you think about TG? Was he the most hated guy in Dallas? Let me know in the comments below, thank you.